Hey, what's up, people? This is Tyson again with AJHO for Life. Uh, I wanted to share this with you. I know it's upside down, but it's it's right in my screen. Anyway, um, okay. What I did is I stuffed this jar full of socks, and then I ran it till it was like dry, so that there's no gas. Now, obviously, some is absorbed into the socks but it's not bubbling through anything, it's just forcing the air through the um, gas that's absorbed into the socks down there at the bottom. So there's like no liquid left, I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, but it's uh, just the socks. And I'm going to start it here. <laughs> kind of melted um, to this little piece in here because it got too hot. Cause I've been letting this, I've been letting it sit here and run for shoot over a good over 15 minutes now um, with it like this, and I think the it's starting to kind of lose its juice. Um, but let me try this again. See if I can. If I heard you. So this house is this hose isn't adjusted right anymore. Once I get my setup with my valves and stuff, it'll be way better. I gotta shove it way in there. kill itself because there's too much air flowing into it. You see, so this is more of a dry vapor because this container is really hot. You can see the rope kind of melting. Or not the rope, but the foam cord. <laughs> kind of melting. So that's how hot it got. And so it's a dry vapor, so it's less dense. Alright, let's just kill it. It's a dry vapor, so it's less dense. And when it's dry, I have to shove the hose in further in order for it to run at um, top speed. Because the air to fuel ratio changes as the vapor becomes drier. Um, as you can see right there, I was shoving it in really hard to, to 
try to close off all outside air from coming in um, and make it so that only the air flowing through this inlet was going into the engine. So that's just one thing that I discovered when the vapor gets hot and dries out more is you can't let as much air flow through. And so our secondary air inlet, which is the gap between the tubing, this tubing right here and this mounting bracket right there. Inside you can see the gap in between the tube and that mounting bracket. Um, that gap allows air to go in there and as the vapor heats up I have to shove this hose down in there because it starts to hit down there at the base um, and it starts to seal the outside air off a lot better and then it runs better when it's running off of hot vapor with no extra external air coming into it so I just wanted to show that to you guys um, and show you that there was no liquid in there uh, at all like in the bottom that it was just a little bit of vapor absorbed into the socks and it was still running fine and like I said it was running for about 15 minutes like that